22 points for Travis already. But if you're Barangay Hineda, you're still happy. Because yung ibang mga players hindi pa nakaka-contribute. Zero pa si Castro so far in this game. Look at that. Some action going away, going on away from the ball. Johnson of Buena, then Dorian Peña came out of nowhere to set a hard screen. Johnson, he... Who is that? Yes. Pero, pero. Ito na. May konting action na. Tak-tak-takbuhan na yung mga coaches. They're crossing because I think the Alaska coaches are very upset because there seem to be a knocking of heads. At least mula sa angulong ito. Let's wait and see. Of course, you want to see that again. But it's Calvin Abueva who's guarding Johnson. And Johnson did not like it. A foul was whistled against Calvin Abueva. Let's take a look at this once again. Marami nang nangyari bago ng situation na yun. Ito yung screen, ha? They're jockeying for that position there underneath the basket. Tapos Pito. Ayun, no? Frank Gilliam, alam naman natin. Very close kay Calvin Abueva. For sure the referees will view the sequence once again. But if you're Alaska, you're only down by 11 points. Masyado pang mahaba yung oras. At pag ikaw naman ang Barangay Hinebra, you just have to keep your emotions in check. Dahil lamang ka naman all throughout this ball game from the, uh, well, from the six-minute mark of the first quarter, lamang ka. So, tignan natin, marami nang nangyari rito eh. Umpisa pa lang. Well, yung nakikita natin, heated action. This is playoff basketball, Coach Ryan. It's so, not going to be easy. Ayun na, yun yung screen kanina. Pinabagsak ni Dorian Peña. You know, this is just two teams competing right here. Calvin Abueva, ginagawa lahat ng kaya niyang gawin para mapigil si OJ. And OJ reacting as well. So, I mean, ganun lang. Heat of the moment plays such as this. But hinaantay pa rin natin ang hatol ng ating mga judges, ng ating mga referees. <laughs> 